The numbers tell us it's clear, tell us a clear and convincing story. We're going to win this race. Joe Biden is expected to win the presidency, but the Senate may not be decided for months. This is your 2020 fix. After an incredibly tight presidential election and days of counting, Joe Biden is the projected winner, making President Trump a one-term president. Biden did this by flipping key states back to Democrats that Trump had won in 2016, states like Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. And if we had any doubts, we shouldn't have any longer about a government of, by, and for the people. It's very much alive very much alive in America. Biden also won when there was record turnout across the nation. More Americans voted this election than ever before in American history. And he did that uh, in part supported by black voters who saved his primary candidacy in South Carolina earlier this year. They were a huge factor, the data show, in early voting and absentee voting and in-person voting in all these swing states. As his lead was slipping away, twice this week, President Trump stood in the White House and baselessly claimed he had won the election, even though votes were still being counted. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. He also indicated that votes that were counted against him were illegal. Democrats are gonna keep their House majority, which they won in 2018, but they're losing a number of seats. Republicans managed to eat into their majority and the numbers are still being counted, but in a way that could weaken Nancy Pelosi's power as House Speaker. Uh, in January, we'll be able to do great things for the American people. As I said, we've lost some battles, but we won the war. We have the gavel. What's more, Democrats had predicted before this election that they could win as many as five to 10 to 15 seats to add to their majority. They could walk away without flipping a single competitive seat. Democrats had hoped to be celebrating entire control of government in Washington with the majority in the Senate as well, which they were actively predicting would happen. That's not the case. Control of the Senate is still up in the air because there are two seats in Georgia that will go to runoffs in January. Republicans have the slight upper hand there, but Democrats feel confident if they can raise millions of dollars to get out the vote, they'll have a shot at winning those. That would make the Senate deadlocked at a 50-50 tie with the Vice President Kamala Harris being the tiebreaker. You're gonna be the next president of the United States. <laughs> On the whole, neither party had the election night or election week that they wanted. Democrats vastly underperformed expectations, especially in the battles for Congress and state legislative seats and even governor's mansions. But Republicans lost the White House. They now have a one-term president.